numbers I've done and I still haven't done because I actually didn't know you could do it on your phone. So since I know we can do it on the phone now, I think there's an app just for GeoGuessr. Uh, we're going to be doing it now, at least in tonight's video. If you do like this idea, make sure you give this video a big, 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 big thumbs up. And also just comment down below if I should continue on doing this or maybe even play some of the other game modes I know they have on GeoGuessr. Um, I don't know if you're sort of a connoisseur for GeoGuessr, so just let me know. Maybe some helpful tips or tricks that you know in helping me uh, sort of get past these sort of hard GeoGuessr things. Also, definitely uh, check out last night's video if you are sort of a fan of uh, back openings, if you are sort of a fan of uh, basketball cards, sports cards, Pokemon cards. I did a back opening in my last video. I did mess up though and I uploaded the wrong video. So it's going to look kind of weird, but it is the first pack opening I've done on my channel in such a long time. So I highly recommend you go check that out, last night's video. And yeah, I guess that's everything. Make sure you, you subscribe to the channel. Obviously, I think we're almost at 13,000, which is so crazy. Thank you guys so much. Obviously, a big push to, to 15K, then 20K. That's so crazy to think about. I think that's everything. So let us get started. Started. Before we get fully into tonight's video, and as you can probably tell from how I'm talking right now, uh, we have a sponsor for tonight's video. You can probably guess who it is. It is in fact Manscaped. Yes, Manscaped again has decided to come back and have another little talk with you guys on some of the amazing, amazing products that they have on their website, obviously manscaped.com. Manscaped is one of the leaders in the male grooming services when it comes to just not only looking good, shaving the right way, but definitely smelling the right way too, and also just feeling all around better, more confident about yourself, and just putting your, your best foot forward, uh, especially during these summer months coming up fairly soon. Definitely going to be, you know, smelling a little musty, I'm sure. And again, just smelling better, they have shampoos, conditioners, deodorants. They even have their own uh, branded chapstick and cologne. They have obviously the Lawnmower 4.0, which is, in my opinion, the best shaver I have ever used. And it's probably the only thing I'm going to be using till I need to get a new one, which you don't really need to get a new one because their razors are also sold separately. You can take them on and off whenever you need a new one. So you're basically going to have that for a while, which I'm actually down for. So, um, yeah. Thank you so much to Manscaped for sponsoring this video. If you do, go on the website, which I highly, highly, highly think anyone who ever does even go to, goes and checks out Manscaped because that's definitely a company and a product that I obviously really do believe in if I'm bringing it to you guys. Um, make sure you use code, yes, we have our own code here on the channel, code JBALLER, that's J-B-A-L-L-E-R at checkout for 20% off plus free shipping and i know free shipping is the best part about it i love having that free shipping so if you find that the big performance package that has everything that you could ever need from them or even just a, a razor uh even a single blade razor a, a, a bottle of shampoo or conditioner or even a little chapstick make sure you use code jballer at checkout and thank you to anyone who has ever used it you guys have helped me out so much uh growing on this channel and not only with uh, us getting intact with with Manscaped, it's really meant a lot for uh, the relationship. So uh, thank you so much, Manscaped, for sponsoring this video, and let us get on with tonight's video. <laughs> yeah, as you guys can see from the screen, hopefully now I'll have it up up here. Uh, yeah, the Geo Guesser app. Yes, I don't have a computer, so I'm not as cool as some of the other ASM artists um, on this. Uh, I guess website YouTube. <laughs> And you guys know that, and obviously I'm building towards having something, you know, like that, hopefully, at one point in time. But we're going to have to make do with the app, which does look pretty fun. They have, I did do the tutorial, so I completed that, so I know somewhat what to do. And I've obviously I've seen some other YouTubers, definitely way back in the day when GeoGuessr like first came out. And then I sort of stumbled upon a couple videos here and there on GeoGuessr about how it is now. I guess they have some different uh, game modes now. They have Infinity. I'm assuming you just keep going and playing until you mess up, I'm assuming. Uh, they have a play with friends. They have a classic mode, which is probably what we're going to be doing in tonight's video. We have battle royale countries, which I'm, I'm assuming, again, battle royale, kind of like any battle royale, is probably just it keeps going and giving you new places until, you know, the last person standing. Uh, battle royale distance and uh, country streaks. No idea what that is, but yeah, looking pretty cool. Yeah, like I said, we're just going to be doing the classic mode, which 
much. I'm assuming hopefully it's just regular old GeoGuess or nothing fancy, no rules or anything to it. So yeah, I guess we can just get started. I have no idea how long this video is going to be. This is just me attempting to try something different, something new. I've never tried to sort of do this before on the channel before. Uh, so it could be fun. We'll, we'll find out. Uh, classic mode start game. All right. So we have world famous places, the US, European Union, UK, Canada, Spain, France, Japan, Russia, Australia, Netherlands, Brazil, India, Italy, Poland, Germany, Sweden, Turkey, Norway, Argentina, New Zealand, Switzerland, London, Denmark, Portugal, Ireland, Siberia. I tried my best, but there's a lot of places as you can see. I tried to go through all of them in one breath. But we're just going to be doing, I guess we can start out with the world and then maybe I'll do another game where I'll do famous places. How about that? We'll do two games and I guess see how far we go. So let's do world first. Uh, your best score is zero points. So as you guys can see, I've never tried this before. So let's give this a little go, shall we? Okay, first things first, this looks kind of like a European country. Can you zoom in? Oh, you can. The license plate look a little bit like they're from a different country. Looking from the architecture, that's a nice word, architecture, architecture of where we're at. I'm assuming some European country. And as for this sign that says spiral, I'm not sure what we're looking at here. This actually maybe could be, no, it's not the US. Yeah, I've never seen street sounds like that. There's no way this is the, in, the, in the US. Spiral, so it's a place that also uses, I'm guessing, English and sometimes maybe. It maybe could be Germany. That could be a good guess. I'm looking at some of the lettering and some of the words that are being used. Germany might be the move. They have a, a pretzel place to go eat, which obviously, you know, Germany might not be a bad guess. I'm looking at the, just like the wording here. It looks very German. Well, the food here looks interesting. Okay, I'm going to guess Germany. You can see there's a supermarket right here too. Yeah, well, we'll go with the Germany. So, somewhere. Germany. It could be maybe Germany, Belgium, Netherlands, Europe. So I'm gonna go maybe more more west Germany. I'm gonna take a, a swing at it. Ah, Austria. I, okay, I don't want to. <laughs> kind of the same thing, I guess you could say. Oh, not bad though. Honestly, with some of the the, the sort of guesses that I had going on there, definitely not not a to be put out for our first game not too terrible i can already tell this is the u.s yeah i can already tell this is the united states just from the scenery of places it looks like it's either on the coast or uh, in, in, on a big lake even oh man this is beautiful this could be the pacific northwest which is where i'm from this could look like uh, the pacific Northwest, but maybe not and try to get like a sneak peek on like a license plate. Actually, that kind of does look like a Washington license plate. If I'm being honest, maybe if I move down a little bit to the, where this building is, maybe we'll have a little bit of a cheat sheet up here. Oh, but very close. Move up a little bit more. Oh, it's just like one of those signs that tells you where the birds are, what kind of birds and stuff are at. You know what, I'm gonna guess this is maybe, or it could be like Canada, like British Columbia, like so for, or no, like Vancouver area, somewhere on that sort of west coast line of the US and Canada. That could be, that could be true. Oh, it's in, oh, okay. So it's not in miles per hour. I think this might be Canada. Right, I don't know if they use miles per hour up there either. Let's do that actually, I think this is Canada the west coast of Canada, like the British Columbia ever area, somewhere by the Vancouver Island. I don't know. I'm going to take a swing at it. I think it's somewhere in Canada. 
assume India, just from the lettering, from what I can see. There's a, a dog there. Oh, that's kind of sad. Okay, well, somewhere in India. I have no idea where, though. I'm assuming India. Oh, maybe not, though. I just would have guessed India. Um, let's take a look at India, Thailand, and maybe like, I just want to score as many points as possible, so let's maybe do the eastern side of India and see where that takes us, because I mean, it could be, oh, I don't know, eh, let's give it a shot. Oh, it was Thailand, oh. That was kind of bad. That was really hard. Honestly, that was a really tough one. I knew we were going to get one that we were, we we're obviously going to get some that are just going to get more and more tough. Then we have another one that I'm assuming is a European country, maybe. Oh, maybe not. Ooh. Oh, I don't know, man. Eh, from the signage, it kind of does look like a European country again, or could even be somewhere in like South America. <laughs> Let's keep moving down here a little bit. I need to look at some more of the wording. Oh, maybe Spain. I'm seeing a lot of Y's. Roja, Alberta, Roja. Probably some people already know who this is. Oh, it's a Netflix show <laughs> coming out on Netflix. Oh, you know what? Maybe it is somewhere like Spain. Me no, I think it's Mexico. Could be South America though. There's McDonald's. Not bad. <laughs> There's the McDonald's over here. Oh. Um. Since 1992. Oh my goodness, I have no idea. I have no idea. Okay. Um. It could be like a. Argentina, no. Mexico, I don't think it's Mexico. I just don't think it is. I wish I could get like a little guess or like a hint or something. But you know what? I gotta do this kind of quickly. Eh. We look at the license plate. Yeah, it's definitely not anywhere in the US. You know what? I'm gonna guess somewhere in Spain. I have no idea. This is gonna be so wrong. This is where it's gonna really hurt me, but hey, it is what it is. Oh my god. <laughs> starting off so good we started off so good and right when I said oh it's not Argentina it was pretty much Argentina I, I we uh, I never said I was smart or good at these but you know what was at 10,000 points I will 100% take it close to 10,000 so that's maybe the goal for this video is to hit 10,000 um, here I would like to think again uh, European country somewhere off in the middle of nowhere with a lot of landscaping this could be like oh man it could be like Russia the Netherlands I'm, just, I'm, I'm assuming it's in this area again sort of like Austria Romania Poland area I might just smack dab it in the middle and see what we get because obviously there's not going to be any sign it's just going to help me out with anything just from the landscaping, it just looks like, or it could be even France. There's been a lot of movies that I've seen, sort of the, the landscaping and wilderness of France, and it kind of reminds me of this. Open fields, sort of the, how the houses look. I just, obviously, it's just no sign. It's just going to help me out with this at all. So I'm just going to put it somewhere in the middle of this uh, Western Europe area and cross our fingers. It was France. It's funny because I'm saying it. You guys hear me say the answer, but my brain is too dumb to pick it. That's kind of how my life is in general is. But we did get over 10,000, so hey, yeah, yeah, clap it up for Jake Ball or ASMR. Getting over 10,000 points is not bad. It looks like that's half of the points I could have gotten from the bar. It seems like, I don't know, but I, I, I'm actually pretty happy about that, not going to lie. Even though I think I was only really stumped well, no, because two of them, I answered, I answered this one right. Argentina was right. 
see if I can do a little bit better this time, just because it is in the U.S. Okay, so I see a palm tree. Instantly thinking, one of the coast of the U.S. Probably Miami. Or Miami, probably Florida. Actually, uh, it looks like it, there is a bigger city going in this direction. So maybe I am thinking somewhere like Miami. Somewhere like there. Is there like a sign I can cheat off of somewhere around here? Any local businesses? <laughs> it doesn't look like it. I'm assuming it's probably somewhere in Florida. So let's go to, down to Florida. And let's go between Orlando and Miami. Somewhere around there. <laughs> of course, the other place I would forget would be Hawaii. And it happened to be Hawaii, the only other place in the U.S. that has palm trees. I got one point. That is just embarrassing. I do apologize to anyone from Hawaii. I feel dumb. I love Hawaii. I love uh, you know, Polynesian culture and all that. Oh, man. Okay, this is giving me Midwest vibes for sure. Oh, actually, eh. Then again, maybe not. Let's see. Let's scoot up a little bit more here. You know what? This could be the East Coast. This definitely isn't the West Coast. I don't think this is anywhere in the Pacific Northwest. These aren't sort of like trees and uh, sort of things that would make me think of it being in the Pacific Northwest. You know, this could be like, you know, Maine area, the upper northeast of of the U.S. Just the vibe. I have to only thing I can get off is the vibe. Obviously, there's no signage. That's just a high voltage sign. Maybe this car up here will give us a little hint on uh, the, uh, the license plate. No, it won't. Okay. Street name. Nah, it's not going to help. You know what? I think it's somewhere on the east coast. Upper East Coast, somewhere around New Hampshire, Massachusetts, sort of suburby area. Let's, let's see what happens. Okay, not at all, actually. It's actually in Chicago. See, I was right when I said Midwest. Chicago, the Midwest. I think it technically does. Technically goes with that. Okay. <laughs> not to be too bad, too terrible. Uh, this is like this. <laughs> This is like the same thing as last time. This was, literally looks like the same area. Okay, well, let's take a look here. That license plate isn't covered, but I can't really look at what it is. Tyler Rosemary Road. Let's see. This is definitely giving me more sort of like, oh, I don't know, Missouri. Tennessee vibes, so I'm gonna think it's again Midwest, USA, North Carolina. Well, all right, <laughs> not bad. Better was it the better? I think it was a better score than last time. Not bad though. Not bad though. Okay, okay. I'm trying to get this a little bit faster. Hey. Definitely not the the nicest looking city, I would say. Some housing as well. Honestly, this could be this could even be somewhere in the Pacific Northwest. Just taking a look at the clouds. It could be somewhere by the coast because it looks like it's about to pour rain. <laughs> um uh, nutmeg pharmacy. Oh C D. It's Connecticut. <laughs> Finally we saw something. That would help us out. I'm gonna guess probably like somewhere by the coast, let's say New Haven, Connecticut. Hey! There we go, we finally used one of the obvious things I should have been doing this entire time is looking at signs. And we finally found one. That was a uh, shout out to everyone from Norwich, Preston area, Connecticut. Shout out to you guys. Alright, the last one. This is also giving me some Pacific Northwest vibes for sure. Let's see if we can end on a high note. Okay, covering of the license plate. Good job. Game. Oh, my back is hurting. <laughs> I'm trying to sit like this. Hope neighborhood. Elm Street. Ooh, definitely not a street you want to be living on. Let me tell you that. <laughs> okay. Um, we have a BLM thing there. Let's look a little bit over here. 
saw. Well, again, <laughs> no offense at all, because the same to me. Just under 10,000 points. I definitely feel better about the first time. That is for sure. But uh, yeah, that was our little go around of GeoGuessr. Um, again, if you guys want me to try to do another sort of classic round or do the famous places one or even try to do some of the other ones or even try to do US again, definitely let me know down in the comments. But yeah, that was a lot of fun. Uh, again, sorry if it's a little scuffy and uh, I'm trying to figure out how to do this obviously not having a computer and obviously that's really how most people do this but you guys know I try to make things different on this channel so hopefully you guys enjoyed whatever this was and make sure you do like the video if you did like the video make sure to check out last night's video it was a lot of fun it was maybe the most fun I've ever had filming a video in such a long time in that pack opening it was so much fun so make sure you check that out and yeah 